This is the Ascalon Arms 125% recoil spring for the CZ Scorpion. I wanted to see if I could mellow out the recoil on this thing a little bit. Um, even with my lightest 115 grain range ammo, it's pretty violent uh, and it gets even worse when you stick a suppressor on it, which I do quite often. Of course, with direct blowback, you can change the mass of the reciprocating components or the spring rate to affect the recoil action. On the CZ Scorpion, there's not really an option to add weight to the bolt, so you can play with the springs. Here's the Ascalon spring. It's already installed on my bolt carrier group. Here's the factory spring. Installation wasn't very hard, and um, Ascalon Arms uh, put out a great video on YouTube showing the installation process, so I'll link that in the description down below. Um, you can order it straight from Ascalon Arms, and it ships from the Czech Republic, and that's where I got mine, or you can get it from uh, Nexus Firearms. Uh, stateside, they carry them. They also carry the enhanced uh, bolts. They carry enhanced... Um, recoil assembly parts and some CZ Scorpion parts from uh, Ascalon as well. Now I'll include shooting footage with some close-ups and slow motion of the action of the gun cycling with this new spring. I don't really have any good clips um, with the factory recoil spring that I could use as a comparison and this really isn't something that I can swap out in the field or at the gun range like you know a recoil spring on a semi-automatic pistol or something like that. So um, but I mean just you know, even even um, charging the firearm, uh, you can you can tell a difference in the recoil spring weight. Um, and being that it's direct blowback, hopefully this will mellow things out a little bit and put a little bit less stress on this buffer back here and all the internal components of the uh, the Scorpion as well as um, you know I do run this suppressed quite a bit with a baffle style suppressor, and so hopefully that'll mellow that out a little bit as well. The difference in felt recoil with the Ascalon spring is subtle but noticeable. There's a little less snap to the recoil impulse, but there's no getting around the fact that this is a direct blowback 9mm. Even with the lightest Reman 115 grain range ammo, it was still sending the empties probably 12 to 15 feet away. Uh, the spring could even stand to be heavier, but with the intended use of this firearm, keeping it on the lighter side ensures reliability with all ammo types, so that's likely why they didn't go any heavier with the spring. In any case, for 20 or 25 bucks, I would recommend it. It feels a little softer shooting, and it won't beat on the internals of the firearm quite as bad.